We are at Fontana Tam and we are going to hike in Smoky Mountains. See? That's how I came around. Everyone is having a good time. How are you all doing? Good. Say hi! <laughs> Yep. All right, yeah, yeah, ready to do a dike. Is this must come in? <laughs> Here we go. Is the water? Looks like it's dried up. Very little. Here you go. That's the view. Wow, beautiful. That's why it's called Smoky Mountains. Can I take some pictures? Relax a little bit. That was the hardest part. I told him, too hard. Too hard. I am impressed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> See how you feel? <laughs> nah, you got that. Hey. Where's John? How far is John? He's coming. He's doing all right? They good. In his mind, he was cursing me out. <laughs> Yeah, he was probably cursing me out. I don't want to be somebody's therapist out there behind me asking me a bunch of questions. It helped though, it actually helped. So let me take this pack off because I'm actually cramping really bad in my life. Yeah. Come on, this way. Hey, you got electrolytes? I don't, I don't think I have any. Nah, you need. Woo. You're ready to go? No. Not yet? No. Yeah. I'm not ready to go yet. But we're going to go up on the tower. It's just a 0 0.4 miles straight up. Up and up and up. <laughs> up and up and up. <laughs> Doing the switchbacks right before the tower. Okay, I made it. Made it to the fire tower. Time to go up. View. It's amazing, but I still have ways to go up. It's pretty windy up here. Here you go. I made it to that. <laughs> nice. Very top of the fire tower. And uh, yeah. 360 degree view all around. Beautiful. And that's down there. No one is here yet. I'm up here in the very top of the tower. Come up. <laughs> it's a long way up. Okay. If you're coming all the way here, it's not windy in here. As long as this floor holds, it's all fine. <laughs> this one actually opens up like that. If you wanna, I can get the picture. Take the picture if you want. My Facebook cover photo is from here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like a shelter. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, there's a water yeah, fontana it. dam. Wow. And look at the view here. Yeah. Let me show you. That's amazing. Wow. This is beautiful up here. Yeah, can you imagine how it would feel in a windy day? Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a picture. Good. I'm ready to go down now. All right. I'm going to head on the top of the fire tower. How many more people can fit there? I will trust this. I will trust this. All right. All right. Let's head down. You almost did, 
Come on. <laughs> you went all the way up? It is. All the way. Oh, nice. Now you can check mark that off. <laughs> Took pictures? No. <laughs> I got an old phone that don't hold a charge too long. Everything my life. Come sit down. <laughs> hold on. So does that mean you're not gonna go up to the tower? <laughs> <laughs> we all did it. <laughs> ah, the water. Yeah. All right. It's a beautiful walk. <laughs> Going down. It's a nice hike. The guys are behind. I'm going to the water source. So this is the water stop and uh, we are taking a break. How's everybody doing? We're doing great. Great? How's about you, Chum? Occasional cramps, but hey. Getting what better. Mental's right. Yeah. Getting better. It's the first time. Yeah, first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice section. You can walk in a fast pace. But uh, there are a lot of uphills. So it's not always it's so easy. <laughs> This is a bear, black bear, pretty big. I backed out, so I wonder if he left. Oh, okay. Let me just move forward slowly. Hey, hey bear. Hey there. He was really close. Anyway, I don't see him anymore. I can actually hear something ahead. Oh, he's going. He's going, I see. Okay, I'm just gonna continue. There's a big black bear. But I backed out quickly and then I took my camera out. And then I couldn't see anymore. Pretty cool sighting. I wish I had my camera, but I backed out. Okay, I made it. It's a nice shelter. Look at that. Okay. No one is here. Just me. <laughs> Good work, John. How is your feet doing? Doing. <laughs> not good. Dogs, not good. Out yet. Honestly, not good. <laughs> but tomorrow morning you are all freshed up right. and you feel good you tomorrow morning. Danger beers are active in this area. Do not have roads. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw a bear. That's the only lucky one. <laughs> I've been going to South Point for more than five years on and off, but the last, I want to say the last five years, um, O'Neill's been, uh, consistently has reached out to me to come on a hike. One thing I appreciate is that he never uh, gave up on me. How was your journey? Well, my journey was, uh, it was a struggle. Oh, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then just puts inside of me, you know, hey, don't quit, keep going, persevere. Right. Mr. Trevine, what's going on with you? How was your day? My day, my day was good. My goal was to be done. Like, I, I don't know if you guys heard me, but I was trying to be top, like, I was trying to be Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wanted, I wanted to be, I wanted to be first, second, or third. Like, I wanted to get here quick. I felt God tell me to stay behind and help John. I've never been in the back, so I just <laughs> didn't know what to expect with that. We may not see each other all the time. This that we share, this coming together, is the only sauce that we need mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to carry us through this year, you know what I mean? When you go back, sell the value of this 
Yeah, it's good to talk about, yeah, we went and it was a hell of a time. But remember, if you want others to experience what you experience, you got to sell them why you are doing it, why you continue doing it. This morning, we start our hike. Today is dark and gloomy and rainy. And that's where we slept last night. It's going to be a nice little walk in the woods. With you and Jesus today, right? <laughs> Amen. This is my story. This is my song. I'm saving my all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. This is my saving the next shelter. How are you guys doing? We're good, good. Ready to do another three miles? Uh, you have choices. <laughs> yeah. You can always call an emergency yeah. helicopter. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you got, you're going to pay for it? It's got to cost a little bit. It does. Right? <laughs> okay, soon. We're gonna be on the next shelter. Crud is good. Crud here all the way uphill. I'm doing fine. So I decided to continue. There's no point to stay and wait. And I left the wood in the shelter so that if someone comes from our group then they know that continued. This one would have a nice views. Unfortunately, there is no view today. Whew. <laughs> it's not easy. Anyway, I'm at the bolt, which is the highest point. Okay, just keep going. You know what's the cool thing is that the one side of the mountain is Tennessee, and the other side of the mountain is North Carolina. And I am walking on the border. Look how cool is that, like a green corridor. So it looks like I'm going downhill now. That was pretty rough. One of the highest points in a clear day. It would have amazing views. Too bad that today is foggy day. Okay, I got up. But today is such a cloudy day. Actually, we are in the clouds, that's why. One point five miles to go to the Eric Shelter. So today is gonna be thirteen miles. So much climbing today and descending and it's just really hard day. I can't imagine what the other guys must go through. Especially John. I don't know if he's gonna make it. He has no choice. There's only one way out. That's the way we are going. Here you go. This is the shelter. I have arrived. Who knows when all the guys showing up. Hopefully they're all making it. Whew. That was hard. But I made it. It's time is 440. And who knows when everybody else is coming. I have to figure out where is the water. 
and that's all see you later so we all made it last night last guy showed up almost 11 o'clock at night anyway you have 10 miles to go last day <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like maybe eight miles to go all the way to Klingsman's town. It's gonna be 33 miles all together. Derek Knob shelter, that's where I came. And heading to Klingsman's town, 7.4 miles. Let's do it. Okay, there's that shelter. Okay, no one is here. But I'm gonna go into the Appalachian Trail. And it says that Klingman Storm 4.3. So cool to walk the mountain up in the clouds. So no views. Finally getting some views. Yeah. Beautiful. First spruce tree. That's the main tree in Estonia. I like all those wildflowers. Beautiful. I like this kind of marsh and ferns and fruit trees. Going up. Up and up and up. This is like a rainforest. Everything is covered with green moss. It's so cool. It's like a mystical woods. Lots of rocks. Okay, let's see. Mingman's um, parking, 0 0.6 miles. Almost there. Oh wow, <laughs> I passed the parking lot. <laughs> now I have to climb up. Luckily I'm not that far. Okay, that's the one. Whew, that's a Long way up to the parking lot. All right, I made it. Okay. See you a little later. Off the grill. Reggie, can I please have another burger bun? I think I'll do a turkey sandwich. Uh, I'm feeding as well. Hold on. put the burger buns here. Oh, lettuce? Yeah. Thank you. You were having a good time? Yeah. That's good. That's why I keep on regular car. Right. <laughs> Does it matter what's going through your mind, man? <laughs> Man, let me tell you something, Antonio. I was mad with the designer of the place. <laughs> I was mad with the weather. But you made it. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, I done calmed down now. Get another burger over here. You want cheese on it? All right, give me a second. Get you taken care of. Victory meal. Get you, get you red knife. Yeah, I'll do caramelized onions in just a second for y'all. It's in the middle of the table right there. I speed it up for, for the ones who are trying to get caramelized. You say up and up and up. The whole time, the whole trip. That's like all I can think of. Thomas, up and up and up. Get around the turn, you think. I was more up and up and up. I was like right behind Trevine. And not even 50 feet in, you know, we're climbing up. 
<laughs> Something's going on. I'm all of a sudden I'm breathing hard. I'm like <laughs> sweating. I'm like, hold up. And then oh, who was it? Uh, Dismath. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. You said, hey John, let, let me let me get behind. Let me let me get around you. <laughs> let me get around you. Like, <laughs> like I know I'm not going that slow. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Just just go. And then we're going and we're going and more guys started to pass me. More guys started to pass me. And then all of a sudden I catch myself like this. <laughs> I think the reason coming is this. I think this is the best part of everything is just getting together, circling, talking, talking about anything. I mean, talking about even struggles that we all have, because we do all have them, you know. Uh, I have them every single day. And this, to me, I take this as a reset. This is the first time I was seeing like people really actually stuck with with the new guys and really push them the way they did. And the other, the last trail rated person, most of you guys don't know, he's trail rated too. And he's closing this out for us and that is none other than our pastor. Um, so for the last couple months, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I had two surgeries in about three month period of time. And it literally took me, for, for somebody like me, I'm always going. I literally had no choice but to lay in bed and do nothing. The last little bit has just been ketchup, 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 ketchup. There's a pile of things on my desk a mile high. And, and I was like, I don't have four minutes of silence, never mind four days of silence. <laughs> yeah. And so with that being said, I called my wife and I said, hey, you know, I love you, um, but this is the last time you're going to hear from me for the next four days. So silence. You know, it's an opportunity to say, hey, who can I grab next year? Who needs to go on that trail? Who needs to sit at base camp and have those conversations?